about bombing? It's so funny. As a comic, people always like want to know about like your best show and like celebrate your like your greatest accomplishments. But uh, as a comic, or at least for myself, I I actually think about my bombs a lot more because it really is like the failure is kind of what makes you grow and it really makes you kind of understand how your brain works. And uh, each bomb kind of messes with your brain in a different way. So uh, my favorite bomb actually happened um, maybe like three years ago. Uh, it happened in Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn, but I seem to exclusively bomb in Brooklyn. Uh, <laughs> they don't really like me. I don't know why. Uh, so this happened a couple of years ago. I did the show. It went horribly wrong. And then I had to walk 10 blocks back to the subway. And I would say like maybe like three blocks headed towards the subway, I noticed this homeless guy is following me. And um, I've lived in New York City a really long time. I wasn't too nervous. Um, I also have like all the weapons on my keychain. Uh, I have pepper spray. I have a, I have a safety cat. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's a, a, a brass knuckles that look like a cat. Uh, I've actually had it taken away from me twice at jury duty. Uh, I, always, I always try to get it back. So the guy would be like, hey, you know this is illegal. And I'd be like, so is rape. Um, and uh, I still don't give it back, but I just keep buying it. <laughs> And then I have a knife. So I have all the weapons, and it's actually, uh, it's actually on my bucket list to use all three. And I was like, tonight's the night. Um, <laughs> so I have all my weapons. I'm walking towards the subway. I get to the subway train. I have to kind of like loop around. I start descending the steps, and this guy leans over the railing and spit in my face. And my first thought was, I guess he saw my set. <laughs> 